ora. Hello, I'm Philip Duncan. Thanks for joining us for our Wednesday weather update. We are tracking two sets of weather at the moment. One is a southerly change coming into the South Island, and the other one is Tropical Cyclone Feely, F-I-L-I, up here right next to New Caledonia. This storm is likely to dump a lot of rain on New Caledonia, but the worst of the winds we're hoping will remain out at sea. You can see that southerly change down here in the South Island of New Zealand that is dropping temperatures as it comes northwards and it's likely to move over the North Island tonight and across Thursday with a temperature drop there. On the animated wind map, you can see that southerly change. The temperatures are lower as it heads northwards. It's a little bit like, uh, we described this on Twitter, it's a little bit like a wave at the beach. You know, it crashes, it goes up the sand, gets to a point, and then it retreats. What we're seeing with this cold change is it'll get all the way up to the top of the country by Thursday, and then it disappears again, falls away, and as we head in towards the weekend, it gets warmer, especially as Feely moves closer to New Zealand. Now, the good news for New Zealand is that we are not expecting a direct hit from a tropical cyclone or even close to one. It does look as though it's going to fall apart, but it could still bring in severe weather. So we're still looking at the chance of uh, severe gales and even some heavy rain for the upper North Island. It's not 100% locked in, so we'll show you the maps in a moment. But for New Caledonia, uh, category two at the moment as we recorded this, but like we said yesterday here in our video that it could get up to cat three, Today, the Fiji Met Service agrees with that, and they are now going that it could get to that severe status at some point over the next 24 hours. Does look short-lived though, and then it starts to weaken once again. Rainfall for New Caledonia, we're looking at 150 millimeters or so on the northern side of the island. Southern area of the main island, not seeing quite as much, but still getting 70 or 80 millimeters, so still quite a bit. Most of it does just go straight out to sea. Hopefully no real major problems. And the bigger picture puts New Zealand on the map. Here we are in the North Island. Uh, but as you can see, the, the tropical cyclone status doesn't look as long lasting as some others where you sometimes see this coming right down. So it does look as though it is going to fall apart. And that's because of that massive high pressure zone, which we talked about yesterday. We'll show you that in a moment. We'll make more sense of it for you. Uh, going back to New Zealand now, separate from the storm, the next 24 hours of rainfall uh, shows a few showers in the east, but not much. You know, long dry spells might not even be raining for everybody. And the very top of the country, again, just a few showers. We're only talking about a few more millimeters. Same story in Southland and up the eastern side. So the heaviest falls that you see on the map mostly up in the mountains and ranges. Temperatures are also about to change. This is Wednesday's departure from normal. Uh, as you can see, maximum temperatures are actually leaning above average. Most of these temperatures in the south, like Canterbury, occurred early this morning because the colder change, as you can see at the bottom, heading northwards. Look at tomorrow, though. Bit of a difference as we go through Thursday. The whole eastern side of the country cooler than average, many other areas about normal, but the west side and up around Waikato, Auckland and Northland still leaning warmer than average because the southerly flow that comes through is kind of a, a, a dry sunny one for those areas. And here it is on uh, Thursday's weather map here. You can see that southerly change, southeasterly change coming through. Uh, all the blue that you see on this map, right at the bottom of the scale, so just a few showers, that's over 24 hours. The dark blue you see over here, that's no rain at all. That's just looking straight through the satellite map at the sea. Up here to the north, there is the tropical storm uh, heading towards, or well, heading past New Caledonia. As we move through to Thursday, uh, that low pressure zone, sorry, Friday I should say, that low pressure zone stuck up here to the north because this big high, it is a huge high. Just think about how big Australia is. This high stretches from Western Australia all the way out and past the Chatham Islands and out to the international dateline. So several thousand kilometers across. So that storm on Friday does struggle to head southwards and that's the reason why we're fairly confident that it is going to weaken. Big easterly winds that drives the rain back over to New South Wales, hopefully not too problematic, but about 40 millimeters coming for you. Now this weekend, Saturday kicks off with high pressure really dominant into the New Zealand area and that southerly fading. We see a few showers, bottom of the scale, one or two millimeters. Up here to the north, you've got the blue here. That's quite different when it's surrounded by pink and red. That goes onto the scale up to the 100, 150, 200 millimeter mark 
in 24 hours. So there is all that rain, but it's now leaving New Caledonia and it's out at sea. By Sunday, no real changes. It's close to Norfolk Island, so it could be windy and wet there. In the New Zealand area, mostly dry on Sunday and more showers around New South Wales and coastal parts of Queens, uh, Queensland. And then we get into next week. Here is Monday. So the storm's dropping southwards, but it is weakening. Uh, now you get that northeasterly flow. So goodbye to the cold change because we're back to the warm, humid weather. And then our final maps, we've got two of them for Tuesday next week. This is the ECMWF model out of Europe. This shows the storm uh, getting a little deeper again and windier and driving in a potentially gale force northeasterlies and rain. Also some rain coming back to Southland as well. Uh, it's not connected to the cyclone, but it is a cold front coming in with some more showers. So that's the European modeling for Tuesday. Here is the American modeling for the same day. It shows the storm uh, or the low, not really a storm actually, the GFS modeling is showing it weaker. It's also showing it further north and the rain further away from the North Island. And the rain down here in the South Island also doesn't look quite as intense. So next Tuesday is still one to watch and next Wednesday for Southland who needs more rain and for the top of the country that also could do with more rain but potentially not in Gisborne in that area and uh, we also don't really need all the gale force winds with it as well. So this is uh, an interesting week next week and the last feature over here on Tuesday low pressure also sticking around New South Wales. This map suggests that La Nina is still with us. We kind of thought it would be in April, uh, likely to be fading out as we head towards the end of autumn. That's all from me. We'll see you tomorrow.